Let us now get into the second topic of this session today. In this topic, we will look at what is the purpose for an organization's existence? What is the mission of an organization? Is a mission required for an organization? Why a mission needs to be specified by an organization in order to move forward, in order to be in the market? Now, the essential components of a mission statement are very, very important. It, it needs to have the customers who are the firm's customer. It needs to provide information in the mission as to whom they are targeting, who are the type of customers that they are targeting, products or services that they are involved into, what are the firm's major products and services that they are going to provide these targeted customers, markets, the geographical area with where they are going to operate, where the firm is going to compete or they are going to operate on. So it is very, very important to specify the geographical area. Is it the world? Is it the globe? Is it only domestic? Is it only certain countries that they're going to operate into? So the mission statement should carry the information about the customer, about the products and services, about the geographical area where the particular company or the markets where the company intends to operate. Apart from this, the technology is the firm's technological current situation better or is it is it moving forward from one technology to another technology so what is the technology that is being used by the firm that also becomes very very important as far as a mission statement is concerned what is the concern for survival is growth and profitability is is the firm committed to growth and profitability of the organization for the financial soundness of the organization so it is very very important about what is the concern for survival why is it that the company wants to survive is it because of growth and profitability is it because of financial stability why is it that it is important or why is it concerned with the survival of the organization so the concern of the survival of the organization is also very very important for the organization in the mission statement apart from this the philosophy of the organization what is the basic philosophy of the organization with which the organization has been developed with which the organization has been started so that is also becomes very very important what are the beliefs that the people of the organization have in for in the organization what are the aspiration what are the ethical provisions of the organization becomes very very important because when we say an organization needs to be very very ethical it should not be unethical that has to be specified in the mission statement the self concept what is the firm's distinctness when compared to the competitive product or the competence or what are the major major advantage of the organization why they're competing in the market concern for the public what sort of a concern that they have is it that they're going to provide employment is it that they're going to provide better lifestyle for the rural people what sort of a concern that they have for the public in general needs to be specified in the mission statement then concern for the employees also becomes very very important is it going to take care of its employee is it going to be helping the employees to grow is it going to help the employees to have a better lifestyle what is the concern for the employee is also specified in a mission statement. Let us now just look at one mission statement of a very big company. All of us know the company called Pepsi. So let us understand whether all these aspects of the requirement or the characteristic elements of the mission statement is involved in the mission statement of Pepsi. Pepsi's mission statement says our mission is to be the world's premier consumer product company so they're specifying that they want to be a consumer product company they want to be the world's premier they want to be the number one they want to gra gra grab the number one position in the total world that means they're going to market in the entire world focused on convenient foods and beverages we seek to produce financial rewards to the investors people who are investing they want to provide financial rewards as we provide opportunities for growth and enrichment to our employees they say that they provide growth and enrichment to the employees so concern for the employee is also there our business partners and communities in which we operate will also grow so the community as a whole the society as a whole will also grow because of better profitability for the investors who are investing so this is the mission statement of Pepsi if you understand this particular mission statement you will see all the characteristic elements of what we have just discussed in the previous uh, topic in this particular topic are present in this particular mission statement of Pepsi